All righty. Mm. What's today? It's that time again. Mm -hmm. It's time for Chinese Immortals of Taoism. Okay, what were the last two Chinese Immortals again? To refresh my memory. Uh, let me see. There was Li Tieguai yeah. and the Broad. <laughs> Frick, what's her name? Uh, hey, thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're going to do two today because their stories are kind of short. Yeah. Despite being short, one of them is actually, like, Red Leader. Oh, <laughs> like, what? He's the guy in, he's supposedly the guy in charge. Okay. Um, like Zeus or something like that. Well, no. <laughs> Not exactly. The guy in charge? Yeah. All right, never mind. Go well, ahead. Well, Zeus is a dick. This guy isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're talking, the first one we're talking about is, uh, Lu Tong Bing. Lu Tong Bing. <laughs> okay, Lu Tong Bing. His, his, um, he's, he's actually the one that most folks seem to know, if they know anybody, uh, of the eight. Oh, yeah. I definitely do. If you know about the eight. Mm. <laughs> Except if your familiarity <laughs> with the eight has been us and we didn't do him first <laughs> good old lou <laughs> then <laughs> then you're hearing about him third mm. anyway like he's a big deal like the very universe seemed to perfume the air to bring him into existence type big deal mm. oh, like wow. that's part of his story he's born and then the universe goes flower smell <laughs> or something anyway so he, um, his story begins with meeting with his teacher, whose name begins with a Z, mm -hmm. Zhong Li Quan, or Quan Quan. I'm not sure. So it's Lu and Zhong. Chinese names, as you can tell, are my blind spot. Yeah. Anyway, so Lu is making dinner for his <laughs> for this old guy that's going to become his teacher, but he doesn't know that yet. So he's making he's making dinner for both of them, or supper or breakfast. Uh, it's something called millet. And mm -hmm. he's he's cooking like a brunch type of thing, or no, it's like oatmeal. Oh, <laughs> anyway, oh, oh, he's literally cooking. Oh no, no. All right, so he's cooking it, and the old guy says, "Here, take a nap," which seems like an odd transition. I'm cooking food, but okay, if you keep an eye on the stove, best time to sleep when the stove's on. Maybe you just saw that he was working hard. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he he goes to sleep. Uh, he um, Lou goes to sleep, and while he's sleeping, he has this big long dream. Where he becomes rich and famous, and has a hot wife and kids, and then immediately loses it all after he's gained everything wonderful in the world. I've had dreams like that. And then, he, so he and he wakes up in this cold sweat, and kind of goes, well that sucked. I guess I'll become a disciple of this old man here. What? Is pretty much the transition. He has this dream, in the space it takes him to heat his oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes... Regular life sucks. I'm going to become, like, this holy figure now. And I'm, well, he doesn't intend to become the holy figure, but he goes into service of Taoism of Zhong Li Quan. Zhong Li Quan becoming his teacher. And and then I guess they eat the oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, and they have breakfast. <laughs> and then they toasted orange juice. Good thing. I was like, the, the, the house did not burn down. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. This, he <laughs> left the stove on, but he was okay because <laughs> be the dream if... was short and this was a supernatural experience. <laughs> It'd be great if the old man was like, ah, oh, welcome back. And like the oatmeal's burned and the orange juice is burned. <laughs> <laughs> I accept holding like a burnt pancake in his left hand. <laughs> I want to anyway. teach you. So yeah. And that is how he becomes... One of the eight immortals that goes off and has adventures. All right, so that was a little bit short. So I'm gonna tell you the story of the other one of the other uh, eight, um, Lang Kaihe or Long Saiho. I got two different names here. Because she couldn't pick. She he they, she he they. Not sure. What? Long, Long Kaihe is a. Is an interesting one. 
the fact that he, uh, in and of himself, without plot, is more interesting than his plot. So... Uh, or her plot. Or, or his part, plot. or their plot, yeah. Because he defies everything. Hmm. She defies everything. <laughs> they they defy, defy everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with they for simplicity's sake. Hmm. Okay. They're non-committal and everything highly contrary. Lan Kaihe is the essence of defying convention. That's okay. their shtick. Whereas... So she's a teenager, or he's a teenager, or they're a teenager. At the same time as being old. Okay, never mind. I don't know. They're, they're, they're shown as anything mm. all the time. It's kind of kooky. They wear shorts in winter and parkas in summer. As only one shoe on at a time. They're like, they're like Chinese Diogenes mm. is what they are. Sounds like lol random. <laughs> they're, um, they kind of do all of this stuff in an effort to make you think huh. is what it seems like. Um, they kind of, s- their story begins when they become one of the immortals is, well, they don't have this big epic, oh, a teacher pickages them, or, oh, they have this holy moment. No, of course, because it would defy them. Yeah, they would. They go, huh, I feel like I'm going to die today. And then they jump on a bird and fly into heaven. Oh. <laughs> what kind of bird? A crane. A cr- okay, is that symbolism Probably. At all? I don't know, it's a large bird. Oh. People say it's crane. And that's where his story ends. He's this... That pr- sucks! Well, no. I'm sorry, there's no payoff to this story. The other one had a teacher and a house that could have burned down. This guy's just like, I'm gonna die. And he goes to heaven. The end, go to sleep. <laughs> this isn't a good story. Well, I'm, yeah. I feel like that's <laughs> kind of the point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so he's one of the eight emeralds, and what does he do? He's, well, I don't know. Actually, or they. I, oh, I don't, yeah, or, or they, or her. They just decide to not die. I guess they're awesome enough to not die. Are you sure there's no more to that story? Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's all I could find. Uh, what's there, the- um, I I think their existence is more how the how people around them reacted to them doing things, and it looked like they were begging for money, so that they so they made a money chain, which you can do with old Chinese money. Yeah. Um, and drug it behind them, and then gave it away, and did weird stuff. Just, they did odd stuff, odd kooky stuff, supposedly to make the people around them think. Huh. Huh. Maybe this whole human social interaction thing isn't so ground, uh, set in stone as we think it is, because there's a guy with missing a shoe, and he flew off into heaven. (laughs) I'm only wearing one shoe, and I'm not dying today. Or she, or they. Or she, or they. I don't... Yeah, I don't know if it's... Bu- I don't think it's supposed to make sense. This one might be a little long. I don't think it's supposed to make sense. Okay. I think the fact that it doesn't make sense is what makes sense about it. Hmm. So that's... So that's... Lu Dangbin and Lan Kaihe. 